Hi guys, welcome back to Waxing On. It's a Wednesday and today classic rock. Now we're going to look at a fellow, really a blues guitarist, but I'm not going to cover him in the blues uh, episodes we have on Friday. This guy has been a major force in music for as long as I can remember. Um, I'm talking about Johnny Winter. Brother of Edgar Winter. A lot of people seem more familiar with Edgar. Edgar had a big hit uh, with a song he had called Frankenstein. And it was one that I think during the day almost every high school jazz band or stage band had that in the repertoire. I know even with my big band we still got it in the book. We pulled it out occasionally. But Johnny Winter was the brother more based in the blues and a guitarist. And it's, he's one of those strange artists. A lot of times on the show you've noticed I've talked about people that I discovered watching PBS, either on Soundstage or Austin City Limits or one of the other music programs. Or I might have read about them in Downbeat or some rock magazine. Uh, Johnny Winter is one of those guys that I can't remember since my teenage years being unaware of him. I've always been aware he's around. I, I couldn't tell you many of his hits at that time. I didn't have any of his albums until, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago I picked up some. But he's always somebody I was aware of. And again, he didn't get a lot of airplay. You rarely saw him on television shows or anything like that that kind of got him out in front of the public. But he was certainly a major figure in blues and rock. Now, the album I have in my collection is one called Anthology, which, I mean, really is just another greatest hits album. So if you've never heard him before, it's a great place to start. Uh, songs on here, we've got uh, I'll Drown In My Tears, Riot in Cell Block 9, you may remember we covered that one, I think, back on the Blues Brothers' third album, uh, the second one they released from their live concerts at Universal Amphitheater. Uh, Raised on Rock, Johnny Be Good, the old Chuck Berry classic. Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo. That's the first song I think of when I think of uh, Johnny Winter. And it's such a great uh, riff at the beginning of it, such a great lick. That was one I always enjoyed playing on guitar. It was a great song. Not got a solo like Johnny, but the actual guitar parts to go along with the actual you know, song and the, before we get to solos, it was really a lot of fun to play as a guitarist. Highway 61 Revisited, we got some Bob Dylan in there. 21st Century Man, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Rolling Stones. Can't You Feel It and Still Alive and Well. Now, this one was on Sony Select Music. Um, again, I think it was a discount bin fine. It wasn't on the regular Sony albums because he did record for a, a number of different labels, but this one really came with no information. I got the, well bring it in so you can see, I got the titles of the songs, nothing else. I really don't know who's playing on this with them and that's one of the downfalls I have with some of these discount bin finds. Uh, I don't get a lot of information. Now he is on the streaming networks and a lot of material out there. I was on Amazon Music, you go on uh, Spotify, all of those have a lot of Johnny Winter material for you to sort through. He again was a great guitar player, produced a couple of albums I think for I'm going to say Muddy Waters. You know, he's a producer as well. Going back to the, the streaming, they have two Woodstock albums. Johnny, he played on day three of Woodstock. And in the band on that day was him on guitar and Edgar Winter playing keyboard. So you got the two brothers together. Now there was two albums out there. One was uh, the Woodstock Experience and the other was uh, Sunday, his Johnny Winter set. That one's a little shorter. Less tunes in it. The Woodstock Experience has quite a few more songs they've added to it. But to get a chance to hear what he played live at that event, I mean, he didn't end up on the Woodstock album. I don't have him on any of the other uh, follow up Woodstock albums I picked up. So this may be the only shot to actually see what or hear what he did on that day. So certainly he was a big enough name at that point to get called in to play one of the biggest music festivals in history. Um, if you haven't had a chance to hear him before, I know we've talked about a lot of great guitar players on here. Uh, we've talked about, you know, Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, Roy Buchanan, Mark Knopfler. Johnny Winter's right up there with him. If you're a guitar player, you probably already are aware of him. If not, now's the time to check him out. Uh, the hard copies, easy to find, but digitally, Digital downloads and again the streaming networks have a lot of material hits and 
while I like to buy the hard copies and support the artists and put more money in the pocket, I do have to appreciate the vast volume of material I can get on digital, well not digital downloads, but streaming networks. I've got a lot of times their whole catalog up there, all kinds of things I can pick through. I mean, for somebody that in the old days had to wait till it came out on an album, run to the music store and order it if they didn't carry it, and things like this were never carried in my area because it wasn't the popular music. Um, we really have everything right at your feet there. You got everything available to check out. So a great chance to take a look at a new player, maybe somebody you're not as familiar with, and see what he brought to the history of rock and blues. So that's it for today. Uh, one album in my collection, Johnny Winter's Anthology. Lots out there to check out. Good time, middle of the week. Uh, find yourself some new music. So that's it. Until then, which is Friday, everybody, that was close. Everybody take care. Stay safe. We'll see you on Friday. We'll be looking at uh, a soundtrack album, heavy on the jazz, classic album, great music, great performers. See you then.